matters. It's a plan designed to save the U.S. Postal Service about $2 billion a year. What it means to you? No mail on Saturdays. Postal Service made that announcement today, saying it would drop Saturday delivery starting this August. Fox 6's Prepagansky shows you how that could affect your daily routine. We're not eradicating the whole thing it's itself. It's just literally just one day. What difference does one day make? I don't know what it's going to mean. I didn't know until you just told me. Mail delivery on Saturdays, once a staple of Americans' everyday life, is going away. Maybe I contributed to that by paying online. Sure, you can blame computers, direct deposit, and email contributing to the U.S. Postal Service billion dollar loss in 2012. The U.S. Postal Service expects to save about $2 billion by eliminating Saturday mail service. I pay everything online. Uh, there's not a single, I don't, I don't know why I would use the mail. For people like Andy Nelson, no mail on Saturdays will not affect him. When all governmental type stuff moves extremely slowly, this is probably something we should have done 10 years ago. I have mail coming in on, on Saturdays. But for Christine Anderson, this will be a difficult transition because she pays all of her bills the traditional way through the mail. I feel like that is very wrong. We've been having it all these years. Why shut it down now? August 5th is the time you'll start to see door-to-door -door mail delivery scale back. It means I'm going to have to be on the ball <laughs> and mail it earlier. So when it comes to bills, birthday cards, or even online movies, plan ahead and mail them early. This will not affect the U.S. Postal Service's package delivery on Saturdays. That will remain the same, and post offices will stay open also on Saturdays. Mary and Ted, back to you. All right, Brett, thank you. It is time for News and Weather Together. Donald Driver officially called.